I am a publisher, writer, editor, daughter, sister, auntie, dog mom, and many other things, including currently a cancer patient. But I am not a doctor or medical professional of any sort. What you are about to watch is an episode of my journey through cancer. I'm sharing my adventure with you in hopes that you'll find something here that's comforting and maybe even inspiring. This video is not intended to provide any sort of diagnosis or treatment plan. Please, please go talk with your doctor for professional medical advice. Hi, I haven't worn jewelry or makeup for six days now. Not that I'm much into makeup, but I do like a little eyeliner. Um, but when you're spending 20, 22 hours a day sleeping, putting on makeup is just that much too much effort for something that's going to get all over your pillows anyway. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not currently experiencing um, any um, side effect symptoms other than fatigue um, and a bit of nausea that's uh, at this point pretty easily quelled with some um, ginger tea, but I, I am very, very tired. Um, also, toast. I can't eat toast. And I do like a piece of toast with my 11 um, It's I've been, I've been awfully good about um, preventative measures regarding side effects. Um, among them, preemptively rinsing my mouth with a baking soda uh, solution to prevent mouth sores. Now, I don't have mouth sores. But this morning when I bit into my low carb bread with vegan butter and my everything but the bagel seasoning it it felt like i was chewing a light bulb um, my mouth is very very tender and um, so soft bland food from now on anyway um, i might be putting on some makeup tomorrow if I still feel as relatively good as I feel now, my stepfather wants to take me out to dinner to belatedly celebrate my birthday, which, which would be a lovely thing. Um, <laughs> but he suggested a new barbecue joint um, that's just out of town and that's owned by the son of a friend of his. And just the idea of biting into a rib dripping with spicy sauce makes my mouth hurt. So, you know, it's uh, it, 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 putting on makeup is going to be dependent on whether I can find a restaurant that serves, I, I don't know, protein shakes or boiled fish or pablum. I, I don't know what to do about my hair. Um, additionally, it is undyed, uncut, unstyled, no product. No blow dry that might give it some some shape um, and this is all in service of maybe trying to keep my hair attached to my head through chemo um, as you can see i am resorting to some uh, tricks hats scarves wigs all of them are some of the small concessions we make to cancer <laughs> um, however it is the weekend and um, I am free for a couple blessed weeks from that pump um, and uh, and for two whole days I don't have to make the two hour round trip to have radiation therapy. Um, so you know I'm self-employed and I have been mostly for 30 years and I am very unused to um, not doing at least some work over the weekends. Um, the concept of a weekly two-day holiday is just not something that's ingrained in my monthly routine. Um, but I'm thinking that adapting to such a holiday might be another concession to cancer and um, one that I would like to keep. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Also, don't forget to call your senators and your congresspeople to demand universal health care, and most importantly, don't forget to vote.